everyone. Welcome to today's video. I'm sorry I haven't I haven't posted in a while just because I've been working a lot plus I've been going through some just been busy um you know it's summertime so subway's a little busier but I wanted to make a video about first impressions. I've gotten some makeup over the last few weeks and I wanted to um like kind of show about plus I wanted to do a f kind of a foundation showdown between Kat Von D and I got this little sample thing of Fenty Beauty foundation from Sephora so I wanted to see which one would be better and also talk about a couple things and anyways but stay tuned everyone let's get right into this so I wanted to talk about a little bit about First of all, so my right side is the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I got the shade 210. I wasn't exactly sure because, um, just wasn't sure, so I grabbed it. And then I had to go up and shade with my Kat Von D. I used to be 43, but now I'm 45 because I've gotten some sun. But so my right side is the Fenty Beauty, and the left side is my Kat Von D. And so I'm going to be working at Subway today to see how they hold up and see which one's better um but to start out with uh, dun 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 I had a new makeup desk so um well I used to like take my laundry basket and then fill it up with like books and that was kind of my makeup stand and like in my couch and now I've been serene raging so now I have a desk as um, my makeup stand, and I have all my makeup and everything. So, I bought the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I know this is not exactly new, but I have been using this a lot. It actually has been having a lot. Of, it has a lot of shades. It has thirty-five, which I mean, this and if this was only thirty-eight dollars. It's actually not bad for a palette, and it's actually really, really good. The only thing I do not like about this is it does not have a mirror. I mean, it does say this palette is dedicated to all my loving subscribers. You know, um, XO, I think that means hugs and kisses or loves and kisses or something. Jacqueline. But then on the back, it has all of the, you know, the shadings. And some of them, I mean, they're interesting. Like, pukey. Like, who needs a shade pukey? And the other ones are pretty cool. But I've been using the Silk Cream which is, it's this top row third from the top, you know, so it's this one. I've been using this as a base a lot, but before I do that, I forgot to pry my lids. And I wanted to say that, um, I've been having some controversial things about whether or not I'm going to continue to support Cavon D. Um, I know that she's pregnant with her first child, I mean, congratulations, but my thing is, is like, she goes, well, we're against vaccinating our child, like, yes, it's vegan, you know, we're just worried about, you know, putting in toxins and chemicals in the body, and it's like, you know, as a first-time mother, I probably would be concerned about that, but the thing is, is vaccines like that have actually prevented diseases like polio and measles, like polio is more or less an extinct virus you know and the thing is is that she says oh well they've done research on and that they're just going to choose not to vaccinate their child fix my chair and i guess my whole thing is is that there's so much evidence to support vaccinating your child against and it and it all goes back into, like, 1999, this guy from, like, I want to say from England or something like that. He basically posted an article saying that, like, oh, well, vaccines leads to autism and this and that. One article versus thousands upon thousands of other ones, like, saying how vaccines are good. And one article is what everyone believes. And... Like, they've actually determined what causes autism is, like, either, if like, you're too young when you have a kid, or it is also, to a point, genetic, and this and that, and, you know, all this other jazz, but, like, 
they just, I guess people just want to believe anti, you know, I guess anti-vaccinations. Like, the perfect scenario why it's good to vaccinate your kids is that in American Horror Story Season 5, I can't think of the mom's name right now, but she's a nurse that goes to um, doctors, and she, or like she's kind of like a home in-home nurse, doctor, whatever, and she has a kid where the kid's, he has the measles, and the mom goes, oh, well, researchers, and she goes, don't you, don't believe everything you see on the internet. Which, I, I want to say that that's a very good thing, like, you should be pointing out to your kids. Like, don't, I mean, if the doctor said it's a good idea to vaccinate, then I would listen to a doctor. Not what I believe on the internet. That's just my personal opinion. Um, I, like, because the, she more or less came out saying that, oh, I'm not going to vaccinate my child because, you know, research, this and that. I'm not exactly sure if I'm willing to support her line anymore. I mean, she's got, and I'm not saying that she's got horrible things. Like, she has her, for example, her tattoo liner. I use this all the time. It is great. Um, was it her collab with Billy Joe Armstrong? Where is it? Oh, the basket case. This was a great one. Um, her foundation and primer are great. And some of her eyeshadow palettes are good too. Like I have her Satan Sinners um, eyeshadow palette. Oh. No, like I have her Divine eyeshadow palette. If anyone wants me to do a review on this, please comment down below because I know I have. I've gotten it. I got this actually on my birthday back in March, and I've never. I never did a review, and it was my intention to never do it. If anyone wants a review, just comment down below. Um. Yes, my makeup desk is small, and I knew better, but at the time, it was great. Um, her pastel goth eyeshadow palette. This one's actually another good one. Like, you know, this is great for Halloween. If you do makeup for Halloween. Now, this is her True Romance shadow palette. This is the center one. Um, I think I may have to re-explore this again, because this was actually kind of a dud. The only thing I liked about it was the autograph eyeliner pencil out of this. Um, God, I've got so many palettes. I didn't even realize. Her, see, this is her Satan Sinners one. I've done a couple looks with these. Um, this is actually, like, it's pretty cool. Like, I like the whole architecture style that it was inspired by Catholic churches. I really like it. Um, sorry, guys. And then another one of her, oh, little sticks. Another one's her that I really, really like is her Alchemist palette. As you can tell, she's been used a lot. But then they're, sh they're color shifters, and I really like this. And I bought it. But, and you know, she's coming out with a shoe line, which I'm also like, I really want to buy her shoes when they come out. But, personally, you know, as a believe, and like, what I find a little bit hypocritical on her end is that she she I'm pretty sure she's vaccinated too like you know not no no tea no shade but she probably has vaccination you know she's vaccinated too so why would she not vaccinate her I'm pretty sure her husband has vaccinations too but anyways I I'm still debating whether or not I want to pull myself away from this brand um I don't know, like I said, I like, I like Kat Von D, I like her shadows, I mean, I like her stuff, like, oh, I got her, I got this, I bought this from Sephora with my 100 points, it's her Saints, or it's her Sinners, um, perfume, really good, by the way, so, so, I forgot to, prior to this video, I forgot to bronze my face, I used the Wet n Wild Color Con? Bronzer is the ticket to Brazil. I really like this. Um, I also set my face with the Kat Von D setting powder in the shade translucent. This is another great product from Kat Von D. And I have another one of her products. It's called the Shade and Light Palette, which, by the way, the best. I mean, I don't really contour, but so far is the best thing that I've ever come across, at least for the contouring line. But anyways, I'm again, when I talk about Kat Von D, I'm not doing it to bash your brand. I'm doing it because 
what I've noticed with YouTubers, and I kind of want to follow this too, is that I want to have like a standard. Like, I don't want to support every makeup brand, but I also want to. I guess I just want to just like. If you're going to be against something, like, be against, like, domestic violence or something. Don't be against, like, I'm an anti-vaccine. But anyways, moving on with the video. Or else I'm going to spend here all day talking about it. So, I bought the Thirsty Palette from Jeffree Star. Um, it comes with 15 shades. Um, these middle ones right here are, like, kind of like toppers. They're really pretty. I've been playing with these a lot. Um... It's funny because I'm in a group, it's called the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Obsession, and some people will get like quench here, like twice where the subtle, the subtle is, and like everyone's like, oh we don't care because we wanted this, the quench anyways, the yellow, and I'm sitting here like, I would not be happy if I got two of the same shades because I remember last year I had an experience with the 2017... Yeah, it is. Yeah. I, sometimes I forget what year it is, but it is 2018. But the 2017 Liquid Lip Lipstick, um, the collection from Jeffree Star, I got Venus Flytrap. Okay, let me explain this to you. Excuse me, guys. This green shade, I got this twice. And sorry, all my lipsticks is in the back of my computer here. But I remember. I got two of the same shade, and then I contacted customer service, and I even told them that, hey, like, I got two Venus flytraps, like, I need Calabasas. That was the one shade I was missing. They sent me another Venus flytrap, and I was kind of upset because I was like, you guys, like, now I've got three of the same shades, and I went, I mean... I gave it to some feds. I mean, they didn't charge me. And then I contacted them again, and then they're like, oh, sorry, we made speak. Finally, I got my Calabasas, but I gave out uh, my Venus fly traps. And I actually ordered a Calabasas for a coworker of mine. Oh, and her daughter wears it. Loves it. Loves it. I've actually convinced some of my coworkers to get, um, you know, some Jeffree Star stuff. Anyways. So I went into parched here and just kind of went under, like, in the top of my lid here. I went in there, and then I'm going to take my little angled crease, my little angled brush here, and I'm going to go into taste buds, which is right here. And I'm just going to put that right in my crease. Sorry that I'm blocking the camera. I'm also watching Parks and Recs as I'm doing my makeup. Great show, by the way, if you haven't seen it. So then, I'm going to use the same brush. I'm going to go into Stroke, which is right here. I know I have the palette upside down. Don't judge me. And I'm just going to kind of put this on the outer edge. Just smoke it out a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to take kind of a, a large eyeshadow brush here. Then I'm going to, no, I'm going to use this size. Then I'm going to use this one, it's kind of smaller. Go into subtle. And just go right out of here. Hmm. Sorry, my hair is going a little crazy. I don't know what it's doing right here. Get down there and you deal with you just stay there. Okay. Then I'm gonna use the same brush again and I'm gonna go into beach. I'm just gonna pause it into the inner corner. 
or like down here on my lid. Kind of very a subtle smoky eye. I like it. I've been kind of going not too crazy with eyeshadows lately. Um, never really have been on that trend. So I'm going to go into just one of these toppers. So I'm going to go into Filthy Rich, which is right here. I'm just going to kind of dab it on my lid. Like, don't go too crazy. Just kind of use it as an enhancer. I don't know if you guys can see it. I didn't do too crazy, but it's kind of like a highlighter. No, but Jeffree Star is supposed to come out with some... Um, kind of like... The Fenty Beauty came out with this, like, body lava thing, and stuff. supposedly Jeffree's going to come out with something similar to that. And I'm really wanting to try it out to see. I may take it, go swim with me, be like, sparkle. Anyways, kind of brush this off a little bit. <sighs> That's awkward when you've got setting powder on your shirt. So I'm going to go into this, um, no. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I also use this as like an eyebrow highlighter. I've been going in with the shade, it's not the right brush, the shade, it's called Beam, it's the second one, so it's right there, there, that out your spot when you're, you know, when your desk is not big enough and you're trying to figure shit out. You know, and not to cuss on my channel, but sometimes it comes out. Just my brown bones, a little highlight. What do you guys think of this look? Yes, I used two palettes. One of them I know has been out for a while. It's not exactly a first impressions. But what is your thoughts on if I can get my makeup organized? Anyways, I'll be right back. I'm going to put on some mascara and some eyeliner and contour my face. And then we'll be right back. back. So I finished my contour. I put my eyeliner and I use my mascara, of course, is the best or better than better than six mascara from Too Faced. Um, and I also set my face with this natural finish by Wet n Wild. This is actually a very good setting powder. Um, I wanted to kind of do a kind of different thing. It's about. It's about doing some swatches on here. I know I see Tati do it and Jeffrey and some other people, but I wanted to um, swatch. I first of all, the, this is um, these Morphe lipsticks. These if I can get them all in order. These five here are from the Morphe Nikita Dragoon um, collection. So I wanted to swatch some on my hand here, hopefully if I can do this properly. But the first shade I wanted to swatch is, is called this one called Tease. I've used this a couple times. It's very nice, it's very pigmented. Um, it actually wears very nicely on the lips, I've worn this one. So the second shade I'm going to do is Steamy. It's a nice little red. Ooh, that swatched even better than uh, tease. 
I've never used uh, Steamy, and this one is called Dominate. That's an okay shade. And then this one's called Morphe. I think I'm going to do it on this one. Oh, that's swatched nicely. Ooh, that's a pretty shade. And then the last one, but not least, is called Lover. Ooh, that's swatched. You know what? I'm going to take this one again. It's called Dominate. I'm going to do this again on my hand. Oh, maybe it's just doing it on the back of my hand is weird. They're very nice shades. Um, I do know with um, Morphe, they have some codes. I know. There goes the Jeffree Star lipsticks. I do know with, um, you can get codes, like, I know with some of them, like, you can use, like, I think it's many a new way to get $10 off. I think if you use the code Dragoon, um, you also get, dang it, 10% off, I think, and also, I can't remember, you would have to look on there. YouTube page. I know, um, it's an interesting color how they go. Yeah. And then I do know, um, what is it? I know if you use some of, like, some YouTubers' codes, like, I think for Thomas Halbert is Tom, you know, Thomas, and some other things. You get, like, 10% off. I know you've used Jacqueline's, Jacqueline Hills, you get, like, 10% off. So, I mean, and they're really at a decent price. There's a trash can. Um, these, I do know, individually, um, they're $9 each. But if you use, um, but if you get the whole set, so if you get all five of these together, these are $35. So instead of being $9 each, it's $7 each. And also, it kind of turns into, like, if you get 10 you know, ten percent off. That's even cheaper. And for they're matte, by the way, they are matte. Um, I would say these are really good. I would recommend these highly. So, moving on to, I think it's the last bit of my first impressions. So, Jeffree Star came out with eight liquid lipsticks. Um, they're all right here. Um, we're gonna swatch them all. Basically. I mean, I like a lot of his makeup, and I do know, like, I have a little bit of an obsession with him, but I think it's, like, he kind of wants the best for makeup and for everyone and everything, and, I mean, you don't have to like him personally, but I think, like, just as a makeup brand, like, he is pretty good. So the first shade I wanted to swatch is called Cherry Wet. I actually really like this shade. I actually wore it to work, and I actually got some nice compliments, so here we go. It's a very nice red, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I don't know if it, is it the perfect shade of red? Probably not, because my understanding is, is that, what is it, Rihanna, or Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, they have created the perfect um, shade of red. So the next swatch I'm gonna do, I don't know if I will ever, ever wear this shade, if you will ever catch me dead in this shade, but this one is called Huntington Beach. It's kind of a teal color. I mean, I don't know if it's exactly my cup of tea. Oh, and by the way, his caps are not... His traditional caps are pink, but these ones this year is orange, and last year it was chrome. I mean, props. And then, so the third shade we're going to go into is called Coral Fixation. Are you serious? Oh, wow. That's a bit stubborn. I have never used... Some of these shades I've used are only one of them, actually. Well, kind of too. But this one's Coral Fixation. It's kind of a yellow color. Um, and not yellow. What am I talking about? This is orange. Um, I'm not exactly, like I said, I'm not sure if I'll wear a Huntington Beach and Coral Fixation. It's just, I, I don't know. It's just not. Anyways, this is Thirsty Trap. 
I, and this is a metallic. I don't know if I really would consider this, a li I kind of think this is more like a lip topper. I mean, I guess you could use it if you, like, you know, piled it on there. But, I mean, it is cool. I mean, it's got a nice little, like, it kind of has a gold shimmer to it. I really like it. And then here's one. It's called 818. I think I used this, like, one time, and it made my lips just look freaking awkward as hell. Yeah, see? I really, I noticed my swatches are getting bigger. But it's okay. We have makeup wipes. I can always take it off. It's kind of like a really kind of bright pink. I mean, that's kind of Jeffrey's signature thing anyways. And then this one is called Saucer, or Saucer. This is kind of a softer pink. I mean, it's nice. I mean, like, I don't think I personally can pull it off. But, you know, hey, there's other people who can pull it off, too. And this one, this is another shimmer. It looks like an orange shimmer. It's called Yummy. It's funny because it doesn't swatch as a shimmer, but if you look in the bottle, it looks like shimmery. Okay. Now we gotta find room for the last one. And last but not least, this is the shade. It is kind of another. I don't know if this is another metallic. It may be just like yummy, but it's called Fudge Pop. We're just gonna put this right here. It's kind of a metallic. Kind of brown. I mean, it's pretty. I mean, I don't think I would wear, I don't think Yummy or Fudge Pop. Don't ask me why I bought them. I think, well, I bought them because the, if the his liquid lipsticks are $18 a piece. Or you bought the whole set for 105 which was a lot cheaper. And, I mean, who knows? I mean, I cosplay, so I could use some of these shades for my cosplay. So that's not a complete problem. But, you know, hey, it's for everyone out there. And I kind of have fair skin, so, like, I'm not really fair. I'm kind of more, like, medium. But if, like, you have, you know, sure, you can kind of see on my skin tone what it looks like. Okay, so, I think that's going to do it for this video today. Um, it's, got, it's kind of a long one, but there's a lot of first impressions. And just kind of chit-chat and kind of catch up on things. And, um... Hopefully, I will, so there's been kind of a special makeup that's coming my way. It's called the Nikki Star Cosmetics. Um, I reached out to her to see if they do any kind of like PR or anything, and um, she kind of gave me a special little discount. I'm not going to say what it is, or it was only for a one-day thing. And I ordered some makeup, and it's on its way here, so I will be doing a first impressions of that when I get in the mail. And I will be sending her the video, and she will be posting it on her Facebook page, so hopefully people will see it, and they'll like it to my channel and subscribe. But thank you. Have a good day.